Once more, hello everybody, it is me, Neon Icy Wings. We are continuing our time here with Pokemon Yellow version. Bit crushed Pikachu version, critical hit edition. We are currently in Lavender Town. I don't think there's anything we can really do here because we can't go up the Lavender Town Tower just yet. I came to pray for my Clefairy. <laughs> I can't stop crying. I forgot how hard this place went. Did you come to pay respects? Bless you. They literally, like, th this is something that is kind of glossed over and not in future games because, like, for whatever reason. Yeah, just my Growlithe. Why did you die? This one's just full of death, die, kill. I'm a channeler. There are spirits up to mischief. Pokemon Tower was erected in memory of Pokemon that had died. And in the second game, second generation, they bulldoze it and make it into like a radio tower or something. I guess because they figured, oh god, this is super popular, and went super hard. <laughs> Children realized, oh, death is a thing. Cry, cry. Well, let's look at my lineup. Who do I want first? Uh, Stryker should go first, try and level up Stryker some. Luna, Charmeleon, and Stryker need to go. Level up. What's a cute, round, and fluffy Pokemon? Well, Clefairy, and it's dead. Guy's crying over it. Blass, <laughs> once to fight, you're gonna have a level 30 Clefairy. No, level 30 and 22. Yep, things are fair. Quick, sand attack! Pocket sand! We'll do one more pocket sand for uh, safety, and then we'll start uh, beating up the Clefairy. We are bullying the poor cute creature. You know, that's another thing. I wonder when, like, contests started being a thing in Pokemon. Because all these people are like, my Pokemon's cute. I like cute Pokemon. And meanwhile, they're out here fighting with their cute Pokemon. Kind of makes sense for there to be a non-violent cute Pokemon contest. Quick, pocket sand! We can't let them sing! Okay, good. It, it, it sung off-key. Off-key singing is okay. Sorry. No pounding the striker. Oh boy, a critical hit, because that's a critical hit edition. Oh dear lord, that did not do that much damage. Maybe that I'm, I'm maybe I'm just not used to normal Pokemon battles. <laughs> that could just be it. I'm so used to stomps. Of course, you get the five billion double slap. Five, five slaps. Well, five double slaps. So that's like ten hits. Yeah, level up for my boy. Hello, Rainbow Shores. Just playing more Pokemon. <laughs> Stop! Don't be so mean to my Clefairy. Which one? Uh, but otherwise, I uh, went to this store just to like get milk and stuff. I've also been like drawing more, trying to refine the initial abomination that will <laughs> that I can play around with in Live 2D to create one of those face tracking models. I'm a rambling, gambling dude. Also, marveling at the fact that Pokemon First Generation went hard on, like, the die, kill, and death. Pokemon are real creatures that die with Lavender Town. They just went super hard on it, and then later all of that is, like, relegated to Pokedex entries. Now, of course, poor, of course my dude gets burned right off the bat. <laughs> Yellow is definitely interesting compared to uh, red and blue. That is true indeed. I swear that, like, I swear that it feels harder. It feels like crits happen five billion times more. Please don't be a crit. I need to heal my boy. This is why I do. I do. Yeah. Uh, oh, I forgot. 
Luckily, I'm here, so I'm right next to Lavender Town. I can buy more more potions. Oh boy. Uh, the fact that they added in like uh, Jesse and James is super cool. They uh, they've only showed up once so far. I might have to throw in War Turtle just because my dude's not doing much damage. Hmm. Type advantages when you don't have them. It's just yeah. But, uh, what else? Oh, I also found it really cool that, like, for the longest time, I was just like, I wonder why eh, I'm gonna swap out. I want my boy to get all the experience, but he's having a hard time. But I also found it interesting that this is kind of where Gary has a, uh, Eevee came from. He stole it from me. I will never forgive him. Ah, he leveled up. Yeah, just, uh, it's very interesting, like, the differences in certain things. I shall send out... Who should I send out? Let's try and level you up, hopefully. They almost followed a pi uh, pitch podge of the anime and the manga at the same time. Yeah, the fact that uh, you can get all three starters and they're just like... Of course you get a critical hit. Critical hit edition. Mm. But... The fact that you get, like, Bulbasaur from a lady that's just healing up Pokemon is seeing already my angel of music. But, like, yeah, you get Bulbasaur <laughs> right before Misty, which is funny. Get it uh, from a lady who's healing up Pokemon similar to the anime. A kind of subversion for Charmander where the guy's like, I don't think I'm worthy of my Charmander. Please take care of it. And then... <laughs> A, a, a Jenny just trying to get rid of a mischief-making Squirtle. It's really funny. Huzzah, we beat the gambler. Missed the big score! Yeah, the one downside to playing Yellow version after only having played Pokemon Blue for long, long time, is I don't know what di if what's different because my memory has just degraded, and what's different because it's yellow version. Sorry for the pause, I had to let my cat out. He likes to sleep in this room. And now we gotta go buy tons of heals, because the, the world is cruel, full of status effects. It's also kind of interesting playing this game again when I don't have uh, much memory of where to go and what to do. I have like the general sense, but not a super duper lot. But it's just like a lot of fun playing old Pokemon again. And there's also a reason why I started with old Pokemon, because I get to kind of track how it's changed over the years. My only complaint is that they didn't really follow Squirrel Squad episode that closely. <laughs> that was fantastic. I really need to re-watch the anime, at least the movies. Yeah, I just got, like, thrown back into Pokemon. It's like, oh, I love Pokemon. So it's just like, a lot of it is from my childhood, and I need to relive it. You need a strategy to win at this. He's not wrong. That's why I have my Clefairy sing people to sleep and then murder them in their sleep. But yeah, that's the one downside. I kind of wish that, like, I understand, like, why uh, they're super simple getting the starter Pokemon in yellow, because they figured they... Please don't take away. Ah, Gust. Oh, well. But they wanted it to be super simple so kids could go right in and get their Pokemon. And uh, kind of fill out their team. Of course, three, three sands in and he's just having a fun time. Sand hurts me, but not him. Mm -hmm. Pain. But, yeah, they just wanted kids to be able to go in, get Pokemon. Though, personally, I would really have wished that it was like a big like side quest. Just, like, have it play out like a scenario. Even if it's just a, hey, this is happening. And then you go talk. It was just, like, turn into some kind of Pokemon side quest. It would have been nice. But I understand why it's simple. 
because it's early Pokemon, it's Generation 1, so I understand. This part of it is just like, you like the game, so you want there to be more game, you want it to uh, fill out and be more. <laughs> That's when you like a game, you want there to be more of it. He's just tr This guy's trying to use my s sing strategy, except his is like, Spew poison, my angel of disgust, and the garbage bin. I don't know why your unevolved form handled my sand attacks and pocket sand <laughs> super easily. Jesus Christ, Critical Hit Edition. <laughs> of course you'd have one, and you're gonna get a crit, aren't you? I'm a coward, and I bought lots of potions. Heal my... bird! And gust him away. I'm st I know I, I kind of rambled about it last stream, and last stream was really long, and it just kept coming back. I'm still kind of annoyed that gust is normal typed. <laughs> I mean, this game is uh, kind of uh, repetitive in its nature, and I kind of love it for that. So it's only natural for me to also be quite repetitive in my talking points because it's always there, haunting me on my bird Pokemon who only has one bird move, and it's only because it was a TM, and it only whirlwinds them away and swaps them with a different Pokemon. <laughs> when I get peck or something on my beloved bird, then I will... I will give up. Uh. But yeah, status moves, they're really good. Even though they wouldn't have saved me on the one-on-one -on -one starter fight. Because... <laughs> Gary got a crit! and murdered my hopes and dreams and made my Pikachu hate me for five minutes. And I will never forgive him for that. It's not logical! How is it not logical? I used stratagems. I used status effects. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of trainers. <laughs> we must look silly standing here like this. You are correct. Why? Okay, god, that is a lot of Pokemon, uh, but they're lower level, so it evens out. Pocket Sand, your younger self. <laughs> I'm not used to seeing Pokemon trainers with that amount of Pokemon. <laughs> Normally, they only have, like, three. I, I was gonna be like, how dare you whirlwind me when I have whirlwind and I don't use whirlwind. What is with the AI trainers? being just like, I'm going to use Roar and Whirlwind, and then nothing has happened. Not a single time has that worked. A part of me wonders if it only works against random, like, of course it's a hyper thing, why have I done this to my Poca Fairy? Silly you, Ratata. Pain makes my Clefairy sing better. Apparently. Yeah, you woke up quickly, but now you'll die quickly. I would have been annoyed if it had one health and survived, but what are you gonna do? A Nidoran! You are just hodgepodge of everything that I fought up till now. And yeah, it didn't poison my beloved Clefairy on one go. Far too many times that happens, when it's just like, hey, suffer. And that's annoying. But that's part of the charm. Like, Pokemon Generation 1 is annoying, but in that kind of way that stimulates you. Like, you play it and you're like, no, not that. It's like, it's like a reoccurring, annoying character that you kind of love to hate in that kind of way and trying to work around it. It's like that frickin' Ekans. No, it wasn't even an Ekans. It was, a, it was that uh, uh, grass dude, the little plant bastard. What's his name? I forget his name, but he was annoying. He poisoned 
my Charmeleon and then just wrapped him again and again and again, wrapping my poor boy on his skull. And for a moment there, I was just like, oh yeah, he's using wrap, it'll go for a few times. And then, at one point I realized, that didn't say continued the attack. That said used wrap. <laughs> and it was because the bell sprout remembered his name finally, was faster than my Charmeleon. And so, whenever the rap start, uh, like, finally failed, the rap ran out, just went ahead, restarted it. It was eternal agony. So I had to send out one of my Pokemon that had quick attack. And it worked, and yay. Then there was the time I was at Lieutenant Surge's gym. The old man detonated his Pokemon in my face. Nobody got experience from that. That's what hurt most. It wasn't the explosion. It was the fact that the experience was wasted. And that's just terrible. Yeah, overall, it's just been super fun re-experiencing old Pokemon. Look at what you did! I made you step out of formation. That was your failure. That was what made you lose. You stepped out of formation, and now your friends are going to die. Meowth is so cute! Meow, meow, meow. If you were in the newer Pokemon, you would probably have a Mew Meowth onesie. Meowth? Why did, why did I say it like that? <laughs> Sometimes I don't even know what my diddly dang mouth does. Meowth. Gonna double tail whip. As this guy is biting my Pokemon to hell. Like a jerk. Making him flinch. Two for flinching, I guess. They run on that logic. And you see, this is why we bite. I mean, why we tail whip. We seduce the competition. Before a tract, there was tail whip. Oh yeah, you're just gonna have a billion meowths. Quit growling at my boy! Ah, for a moment, it was just like, really? One tail whip does all that? When, what happened about last time? And it was like, oh, it's because it was a critical hit. Coins scattered everywhere! He's using my war turtle to mint money! Alright, now we'll send out Charmeleon. Because they are just biting the hell out of my turtle! Leave him alone! Quick, growl! Of course you would. Of course you would. I shall respond by leering at you angrily. My Charmeleon did not appreciate your screeching. Jesus Christ. Save my boy! We cheese through the game! Because we're rich! The true power of Pokémon! To be a Pokémon master, you need lots of money. But in this world, that kind of works because people give out money when they lose. Even though that kind of comes across as mugging, it surprisingly isn't. Meow. You're just really into it. <laughs> and then I pick up the Meowth. Payday money. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, because I have no idea how many Pokémon those two are gonna have. And I don't want my Pokémon to suffer. I'm super happy having gotten Teleport. That was just like one of the most magical moments in the game. I just I like, got a TM, it's just like, oh yeah, it's just another TM, because I don't really use TMs that much. Though that's probably just bad habits from when I used to play the game. A million years ago. And then I look at it, it's like, teleport. 
And part of me is just like, oh, that's not useful. And then it's just like, wait a minute, I can use that to go back to other Pokemon centers. And it's like, yay. The magic has come. You gonna fight me? School is fun, but so are Pokemon. Depends on your school. You have one Pokemon. I guess understanding, it's level 26, and now I also am level 26 Tail Whip. Seduce the Balloon Freak. We're not at Game Freak, we're at Balloon Freak. <laughs> you know, for an even fight, it's not really doing all that much. Oh dear lord. That was a critical hit. <laughs> Whenever I see damage, I'm like, yeah, that's good damage. It was a critical hit. Oh no. <laughs> Fear takes over. I'll stay with Scott. <laughs> Pokemon's fun. He only has one Pokemon. Insert... Ah, what's it? Ah, my, my memory is bleeding out of my skull. <laughs> what's wrong with you? I like Nidoran, so I collect them. You're gonna have six Nidoran, aren't you? Or it's gonna be like one, and I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> it's only two. You are highly disappointing. Charmeleon. Start off with a growl so that it does less damage. All right, it's gonna seduce me. I'm gonna leer. We will mutually lower our defenses. I wonder what the overall gain is there. Who wins that? Does my defense go down like, uh... I'm trying to think. Because I lowered their attack with Growl. They lowered my defense with Tail Whip. In the end, I wonder what the differential is there. And of course you're going to poison my beloved boy. Like, do they get more mileage out of the Tail Whip to get them out of my Growl territory? Or does my Growl... Oh. You said you collect Nidoran! That's Nidorina! You lied to me! It looks disturbing in this game. Of course, it's a critical hit. It's tap dancing on my boy! And da -da -da, super potion. Mainly because, you know, I wouldn't be using super potions nearly as much if not for the fact that this is Pokemon Critical Hit Edition. <laughs> like that. Critical hit. It, that's all this game does, is critical hits. And that's why I'm super glad to be out of the cave that leads from, I think, Cerulean City to this here Lavender Town. Because it was full of... M m what is it, like Machops? I think it was Machops. It was like the lowest evolution of that, like, that line. And it was super evil because it freaking kept using Karate Chop. And I swear, Karate Chop is evil because it's like somebody's like, I want this attack to do a bunch of crit damage. And then they're like, oh, things are resistant to fighting? I'm going to make it normal. Why? <laughs> Why is the obvious named after a fighting convention thing? It is something you do in a martial arts, the karate chop. And they use like, oh yeah, that's normal. Like, by that point that you run into Mankey or the Machop line, you are going to have other Pokemon. Y like... Again, I went over this in my previous stream, where I'm just like, Why is Gust normal move? Because uh, probably they didn't want uh, little kids to play the game and their chosen Pokemon to be stomped by an air... T uh, like, yeah, I think aerial move? Eh, I forget the exact typing. Flying type! Yay! Memory works good, yes. But they didn't want children to get stomped super early into the game by a super move that has type advantage. So they're just like, yeah. Here you go, kids. Normal move. I forgot to read. I'll look at the latency on my stream. 
All right, let's roll the dice. I didn't really miss much. Gambler wants to fight. Well, this isn't a very good matchup at all. Hey, Pig. Uh, actually, Ivasaur. Murder. Slaughter this thing. You thought you were attacking a fire type. How dare you try to put my salad to sleep? And you see, that's why I like type advantages. Type advantages, you don't have to do status effects. Fool. Bubble does nothing. I don't even need the speed because I'm already slower than you. Of course you would survive with like, a, I'd say, probably a four health. Is it odd that the one thing I miss the most from modern Pokemon is the experience bar? Like, it even looks like it should have an experience meter. But it doesn't. I also find it funny that he has Poliwag, Poliwag, they're both level 22, sends out Poliwhirl, level 22, so I assume that he used a Water Stone? He can't afford to raise up his poor Poliwags, he's a gambler. There's a story here. Oh yeah. Drac game came up short. Ah, I wonder what's in there. I'm gonna talk to you. You look good at Pokemon, but how's your Kim? Kim? Chim? Kim? Who the hell are you? How's my Kim? You want my chemistry? I don't think I have anything good for this. He knows Sonic Boom, growl him into hell. Knew it. Also, Charmeleon is, has health 69. Nice. Alright, uh, now to just go to town on you, because you... Sonic Boom, bad game, worse move. Mainly because I don't have it. <laughs> Bye bye. Oh yeah, and a level up, but no longer 69. Sadness. He's about to use coughing. All right, we'll change up. I shall send out Striker. He should be able to handle coughing because he's no longer electric type. Because that was a Voltorb. But he seems to really like just orb. Orb Pokemon. He ponders his orbs. The nerd ponders his orbs. Oh no, don't bully this nerd, he'll grow up to be Saruman. <laughs> My brain just goes down like five flights of stairs. My mind palace. I don't even, what even, where did that concept even come from? It had to come from somewhere. Obviously not Sherlock. Popular culture just throws out ideas. It's just like, here's this thing. Where did it come from? Nobody knows. Obviously, it's Cotton Eye Joe. I'm gonna try Ivasaur. See how well you do against the... He's gonna... Hmm. Now I fear. I fear that he's going to frickin' do the thing. You know the thing. He's gonna detonate. He's gonna self-destruct and I'm gonna scream again. <laughs> Because it annoys me. It's just like, God dang it. I'm going to lose out on my beloved experience. At this point, I probably, yeah, at this point, just go for it. Uh, hell, it's going to kill my dude in one hit, isn't it? No. Oh, it, it, it. Two screeches. Two screeches. Magnemite. Hmm. I'll stick with Ivasaur. Even though he's two screeches in. You ever be tackled by just a giant lump of metal? He got a critical hit because it's the critical hit edition. Of course you missed! <laughs> Kill! Yay. 
And he leveled up. Yay! Ow! Meltdown! I still have no idea what he meant by how's my Kim. Oh, what does it say here? Underground path, Celadon to Lavender Town. Oh, so we can go to a different town. Yeah, because that's just going to be another guard who's like, I'm thirsty. Go away. Because that's how, that's all the security guards in this world. I'm going to heal up first because we beat up a bunch of trainers. Luckily, none of them self-destructed on us. Even though the one super nerd said, Meltdown, none of his Pokemon exploded. No, you, the Pokemon that exploded came from a gentleman. An elderly man who was in the military. I still want to know the logistics of, like, a Pokemon war. Like, an actual war. And now that we're, like, uh, out, I'm going to bike my way to the path. I'm still super sad that the bike music overrides everything. Because it's just like, it, 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 it annoys me. I don't know why there's just cliffs here, but eh, cliffs. Cliffs. The department store in Celadon has a great selection. We'll be able to open up a lot of doors with this. Yeah, we'll just go to Celadon. It'll have a big selection of things. We'll, we should be able to get the Sylph Scope. And open up the security doors. I heard a sleepy Pokemon appeared near Celadon City. Underground Pass, Celadon to Lavender Town. Yep. Do, 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 do. Let's see what Pokemon are over here. I'll throw Pikachu in the front because he hasn't gotten to murder in a while. Come on, wild Pokemon. Maybe I'll catch some of you just to pad my Pokedex. My encyclopedia. Hello there, small child. Would you like to fill out my... It's an Abra! Give! Great ball! Great ball! I found it in the trash! Trash Goblin, go! Give. Give. Sadness. <laughs> Sadness. Ah, it's just a Jigglypuff. <laughs> Seeing the Abra, I'm just like, yes, Abra, Pokemon. One of these good Pokemon. He's fun and spoons. Teleports away. Because that's the only way to do it, <laughs> is to throw Pokeball. This is before fast balls. Oh, of course you would. Hey, you vol you, it's basically volunteering. Fine, Pokeball, go. If you break out, I'm murdering you. It it made the wise choice. Made the wise choice. Uses its alluring eyes to enrapture its foe. It then sings a pleasing melody that lulls the foe to sleep. Now you can stay, Jigglypuff. In which you'll stay in critical condition forever. Because they don't heal when they go to the PC for some reason. Come to me. It's literally 11 levels lower. Pokeball. Give. 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 Yeah! Yes! Yes! Now the question is, who do I replace? Oh, God. I don't know who I'd replace. New Pokedex data will be added for Abra. It already has teleport, but... Hmm. Sleeps 18 hours a day. If it senses danger, it will teleport itself to safety even as it sleeps. Do you want a nickname, Abra? Hmm. What nickname should we give little Abra here? Thinking, thinking... Uh, 
It's the first thing that comes to mind, and I don't want to waste much time. You are my beloved goblin. Affectionate. Goblin transferred. That's good enough for me. We we got goblin. We got my magic goblin. Hello there. Keep out of Rock Team Rocket's way. Honestly surprised he didn't try to attack me. Dude, welcome to our Pokemon Center. We heal your Pokemon. We can talk to the people. And now I'll have to decide, do I want to try and power level Abra? Because having a Psychic on the team would be super good. But the thing is, I'd kind of want to get rid of Luna for it. We hope to see you again, because basically I have Pikachu, the three starters, Luna, and Striker. So yeah, the one that would have to go is Luna. If I had a bike, I would go to Cycling Road. Poke Pokey Flute awakens a Pokemon with a sound that only they can hear. It's like a pleasant dog whistle. Hey, don't you run away from here. Talk to me. I rode uphill on Cycling Road from Fushuzi. I have no idea. How do you see the name? So yeah, I am kind of losing out. Uh, um, basically, Luna is going to be saved for caves when I need to use Flash. Goblin, he's a mainstay. Goblin is mainstay. Goblin is hardcore. What moves you got, Goblin? Affectionate. Status, okay. He only knows teleport. Uh, do we got any TMs we can teach the boy? <laughs> Boot it up TM. It contains Dig. Hey, can you learn Dig? No, of course you're not. You should use your psychic power to open up a hole. Hey, you, you, you can use Body Slam. He can use Body Slam! <laughs> but, considering that Snorlax isn't gonna be on... Mm, do I... Do I... It would give him an attack. It would give him an attack. I'm gonna see what other TMs I have. It would give him an attack. Rest, lol. It would give him an attack, I kinda want to, but he has low f- it does, it's inefficient. We'll power level the boy. We'll power level the boy. <laughs> Wrong one, I needed to switch. Also, I, not, I like that it makes it look like he's lounging, he's relaxing. This is my trusted pal, Poliwrath. It evolved from Poliwhirl when I used a water stone. Ribby Ribbit. That's not the sound. Poliwrath works! <laughs> Coins exchange for prizes. Prize exchange. And this is the gambling corner. Team Rocket Game Corner. The playground for grown-ups. Moon, I blew it at all of the slots. I knew I should have cashed in my coins for prizes. Kind of hilarious that this is less gambling-like than most stuff going on in the gaming industry right now. Trainer tips. Guard spec. Protects Pokemon against special attacks such as fire and water. Get your items at Celadon Department Store. do 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 I wonder what's this way. I just got to know. PP up! Oh! I have no idea what move I'd... Maybe, maybe like Vine Whip. I don't even know... Would we even do... Is that even necessary? We probably could just gone around. I'm on vacation with my brother and boyfriend. Celadon is such a pretty city. My sis brought me on this vacation. Pokemon? No, this is a hotel for people. We're full up. I don't think I've ever come in here. Why did she bring her brother? That's the question, ain't it, dude? Maybe she's sending you a sign. From God. Don't touch the poster at the game corner. There's no secret switch behind it. My. What? magically specific. Chief! We just shipped 2,000 Pokemon as slot prizes! That's sad. <laughs> the slots just reel in the dough! Big time! It's a sculpture of a Diglett. Why? 
What are you staring at? An ugly person. Psst, there's a basement under the game corner. Hey, aren't you the, uh, the gym dude? Go ahead, laugh, I'm flat out busted. No more slots for me, I'm going straight. Here, I won't be needing this anymore. Now I can gamble. My Pokemon are weak, so I often have to go to the drugstore. Ah, uh, yes. I gotta beef up my Pikachu with steroids. No, The man at the table lost it all at the slots. No need to laugh at him. Hi! We're taking a break now. Why is nowhere open for me? The child. I'm going to explore. Is there... There has to be a reason. No, there is no reason. It's just a dead end. Why? It makes no sense. Just random shrubbery that we can cut down that will appear again out of nowhere. This makes no sense. Why is there a blank spot? Did someone just misplace a tile? Oh, this leads to the, the gym. This leads to Jim Gordon. <laughs> this gym is great! It's full of women! Yep. Celadon Gym. Pokemon Gym Leader Erica, the nature-loving princess. How did he get past the shrubbery? Obviously, he must be a master swordsman. He, he literally is Master Roshi. The game corner is bad for our city's image. I got my coughing from my friend. We get along now because I was very nice to it. What, did you just not punch it? Because that's pretty much what you do. You have to do to make it hate you. Punch it five days daily. What does it say here? Celadon Mansion. I'm going in. I had to wait. Celadon Mansion. Manager's Suite. Clefairy. My dear Pokemon, keep me company. Meowth even brings money home. Oh, you have an adorable Pikachu with you. You look like a fantastic duo. You're making me jealous. Oh no, I've been trapped. It's the plan. Keep me dead. It's a sculpture of a Diglett. Why? Game Freak Meeting Room. I forgot they did this. You can use it. Doesn't do anything, but you can use it. Game Freak Development Room. Nobody's at the meeting room. They're all here. I wrote the story. Isn't Erica cute? I like Misty a lot, too. Oh, and Sabrina. I like her. But they're not even really part of the story. They're character designs. Me, I'm the programmer. I'm the graphic artist. I drew you. That's a disturbing thought. Is that right? I'm the game designer. Filling up your Pokedex is tough, but don't quit. When you finish, come tell me. This is funny. Oh, wait, that's the wrong way. They tease you with possibility. Well, that's kind of funny. A little sad that you don't actually get to fight them, but eh, what you gonna do? Eh, what you gonna do? Murder! And now, we're going the back way. Nobody will see it coming. Not even Batman. I know everything! It's a pamphlet on TMs. There are 50 TMs in total. 
There are also five atriums that can be used repeatedly. Sulfco. I know everything about the world of Pokemon in your Game Boy. Get together with your friends and trade Pokemon. Trainer tips using a game link cable. Nah. I got Eevee! I shall leave you Eevee. <sighs> Dang it. Now I kind of want to use it too. Like, I guess... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Now that I, I do have an Eevee now, at the very least, because my last one was stolen by Gary. Gary stole my Eevee. But that's why I have Pikachu. Which is kind of funny that you, if you think about it. Because then they made Pokemon Let's Go uh, Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. It's like they're like, oh, people really wanted Eevee in that Pokemon Yellow version. Let's give him Eevee. Alright, now we gotta go. We gotta uh, buy a decent amount of things. I just hope that it doesn't do the silly thing where it's like, your, your inventory's full. <laughs> it's not, Dad. My Eevee. Oh, no, Words, service counter, trainer's market, TV game shop, wise man gifts, drugstore, vending machines. I'm gonna go right to the top and then, uh, come down that way. That way is a, I don't know, it makes sense to me. Shut up. And then I think we can just buy a thing. I'm here for Pokemon Ability Enhancers. Protein increases attack power. Iron increases defense. Hi there. May I help you? Take your time. No, thank you. Hi there. May I help you? Take your time. These are really expensive. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it makes sense that they're super expensive. They do quite a bit. Pokemon ability enhancers can be bought only here. Use calcium to increase special abilities. Use carbos. Carbos? To increase speed. My sister is a trainer, believe it or not. But she's also immature. She drives me nuts! A vending machine. Fresh water! And now hopefully I can give that to the dude. I'm thirsty. I want something to drink. Okay, I can buy another one. Here, have fresh water. Yay! Thank you. You can have this from me. TM13. I wonder what that is. Ice beam! It can freeze the target sometimes. Nice. Not sure who I'd give that to. Vending machine. Here's the menu. I'm gonna buy another water. I guess I'll get rid of my escape ropes in ether. Because I don't really use ether and escape ropes that much, but that's annoying. No, not buy. I want to sell. Buy, sell my escape ropes. Sell ether. Apparently they don't cost anything. That's annoying. But I have to get rid of it. I want my dumb fossil too. Mm -mm. Max ethers. I don't want to get rid of that. Oh, I can use my PP up, too. Alright, and I'll, I'll use the PP up. I'm not sure on what, though. Probably... Dee -dee -dee. Let's go through the moves. Goblin only has teleport. Striker has gust. S pocket sand. Quick attack and whirlwind. Charmeleon has ember, growl, leer, and scratch. Bubble beam, water gun. Tail whip and tackle. He has Vine Whip, Cut, Growl, and Tackle. So yeah, probably Vine Whip, because it's the lowest. It has 10. And it's pretty good. It's my only grass move. Vine Whip. I did have the Leech Seed, but it's just like... It like took two health. It wasn't really that worth it. All right, now I'm gonna quickly go through. I guess there's no real reason to go through because it's just like, express yourself with gifts. Wise man gifts. 
Evolution special. Element stones on sale now. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave because I already mm, already have uh, quite a full inventory. So I don't want to fill it up more. To the ground floor. Send me to the ground floor so I can take the stairs. And I'm gonna go ahead and see if the guard guy will be happy with the water. If only so I can just pick. Oh, what's this say? Solidon City, the city of rainbow dreams. And gambling. Hey, guard man. Whoa, buddy, I'm parched. Huh? I can have this drink? Gee, thanks. It didn't even ask me. Wow. Glug, glug. Gulp. If you want to go to Saffron City, you can go on through. I'll share this with the other guards. He's sharing the water with the other guards. All right, I guess we could try and go through the rocket hideout now. Because I think that's how you get the self-scope. Let me check the map. Yeah, because to the left is uh, dead end because we don't have surf, and I don't think there's anything really useful that way. God, I wish that it was free range, but no. <laughs> uh, so I think we'll take on the rocket hideout, take on the gym, and uh, yeah, take on the rocket hideout, go to the gym. What is the middle town anyway? I think it's said, and I'm, my memory sucks. Saffron. I have no. I forget who Saffron City is. Probably Sabrina. Yeah, I think Sabrina's there. Maybe because Petruzia's down there, and that's where Koga is. And now we can go any which way. So, yeah, Rocket Hideout, Gym, and then we can go all about everywhere. Hopefully, ish. Yay. At least uh, there's probably a decent amount of trainers there as well. So that we can get things. Trainer tips. XX Ray, yeah, that, that makes sense. Dire hit checks up the likelihood of critical hits. Dear God, there's already so many! Ah. And yeah, we could get a Porygon, but it, it, it requires a lot of gambling and I don't care. What, is he not gonna move yet? I'm guarding this poster! Go away or else! Oh no, we just have to fight him. You can never tell in this game. Now there's a Pokemon fight in the gambling hall. Pokemon fight in the... Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. We are raising up Goblin. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Pikachu, Thunderbolt that Raticate. Quick, Thunderbolt! Apparently, it's faster than lightning. Or thunder. Oh well, yeah, isn't the reason it's called Thunderbolt is because it's less, uh, words than... Or less letters than lightning? Wow, didn't even level up my boy. Dear God. How horrifying. Okay, we'll go Goblin, because we gotta power level up my dude! He doesn't even have an attack. I could give him Body Slam. But he does. I don't. Body slam uses physical, not special. Go, striker! Beat down this Zubat! I'm not even gonna bother. Quick attack. You're not even worth the pocket sand. Especially if that's all you're gonna do. I'm going to suck out one health per turn, and then die. Dang! Our hideout might be discovered. I better tell boss! And I'm gonna go heal up my Pokemon. I can teleport. I can teleport. What am I doing? I can teleport. Oh, we can't teleport now! Oh my. I guess you can't teleport out of the the game corner. That's kind of funny. 
kind of weird, but okay. We gotta heal up Pikachu because that Raticate did a number on my boy. I, I am not one to waste my super potions frivolously. That frivolously. Do 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 do. All right, come on. Oh, hey, we haven't seen how Pikachu. What do you think? Pikachu is happy. I have no idea what it means, but he's happy. It'd be kind of funny if we had to fight him again. But our <laughs> our hideout might be compromised. Here and here I am, power leveling. Hey. A switch behind the poster? Let's push it! He didn't even have to push it to go down here. Doo -doo. Fight me! You broke into our operation? And that's not the only thing I'm gonna break. Boy! Another Raticane, huh? Oh no! You don't even give out that much experience. Pikachu, go! <laughs> but it failed! Quick, double team! Raise your evasion! It didn't work! Thunder! I hope he doesn't hyper fang and get a crit. That would be sad. Good, it just used a tackle. Quick attack! So that it can't quick attack me, and I'm the victor. Learn something, please, Goblin. He didn't learn anything. Another Eradicate, eh? We'll send out Goblin so that he can get more experience. And we'll send out Striker. Quick, pocket sand! He's too fast! We gotta make it so that he can't hit us. Pocket sand! All the pocket sand into his eyes! How rude, he quick attacked me. Quick attack him back! We can't let him get the first hit each time. And just to be safe, Super Potion the boy. You fool. You have sealed your fate. Because I have Quick Attack. Meh. Woohoo! Level up! Burnt! Goblin's already evolving? Do you finally have a move that can deal damage? He learned confusion. I have no idea what that would be good against Pokemon wise. Yep, we just got a power level little goblin. I found an escape rope. I'm probably gonna have to toss that because there's an item limitation in this game! Who are you? How did you get here? Uh, your dude? There's a guy who's like, shh, there isn't a button behind a poster. And then your guy was right in front of the poster. Ah, uh, psychic type. I, yeah, I think, I honestly forget what is good. Like, what confusion is good for? What's it good for? Absolutely nothing. Whoa. All right, we don't really have to worry about his attack, so we're just going to leer. Fuck. Well, at least he's not using Dream Eater. 
Mr. Freddy Krueger over here. I have to wait for my Pokemon to wake up. Man, confusion does trippy. And gotta do heal because he's been asleep for five million years because of this drowsy. Wake up, my boy, please! At least he's trying to disable. Dear God, you've been asleep a long time. Wake up! That's kind of annoying that you... It's one of those things where if you're not... If you're on the one end, you're like, Oh, yay! My Pokemon woke up. I should... Fuck off! Like, if your Pokemon gets put to sleep, you want them to be able to act the moment they wake up. I'm facing my own hell! This is what I get for abusing my Clefairy Sing! I just want to kill you! Is that too much to ask? He's like, I'm gonna use hypnosis again and again and again. Like an annoying asshole. Luckily, he's kind of dumb and uses disable a lot as well. Silly you, you can't disable all my things. He's gonna- <gasps> Ooh! I might just risk Goblin on this one. It's a fighting type. Confusion might do super good. And he's gonna karate chop and murder my boy. Confusion! Yep, he karate chopped and it's gonna get a crit. Because of course it does. Confusion! I hate Karate Chop. Ow! Beaten! Huh, I don't have the jab, uh, the thing to go through. But yeah, I hate, I hate Karate Chop. It's a normal move when it should be a fighting move. Hmm. Let's see if we can teleport out of here. We probably can't. Yep, can't teleport now. So I'm gonna have to walk all the way to the Pokemon Center each time, but I'm willing to do it. I only use- I try to limit my use of potions to very specific scenarios, and buying here in Celadon is annoying. You have to go up flights of stairs to get to the thing you want. Welcome to the Pokemon Center, would you like to murder? Yeah, I hate- I hate Karate Chop. <laughs> I hate Karate Chop so much. But I can't wait to level up my goblin. My goblin will be the savior of the world. The savior the world needs, Billy. Is a goblin. <laughs> goblin Slayer does not know what to think of this. Alright, now that we beat you, we're gonna go down. Oh, we can't go down. So we have to go down. <laughs> Just a different down. Hey, you want to fight? Boss said you can see ghosts with that sylph scope. Hmm, level 17 versus level 17, eh? Let's see how confusion works on you. Yay, critical hit. More experience for you, Goblin. I'm about to use coughing. We won't change. What level is it? Confusion! Booyah! So I guess poison is weak to psychic. Good to know. About to use Grimer. Feed the Goblin. 
Feed the goblin. Feed the goblin. Feed the goblin. About to use Zubat. He won't be that hard. Confusion. Get another crit for daddy. Holy shit, yay. Goblin is living up to everything. Goblin is God. Let's see how you do. What level is that eradicate? Confusion! Okay. My boy is a monster. My goblin is a monster. I surrender! Yeah, goblin is a monster. Up in the right situation, he's just demon man. I just took the long way. So yeah, my initial choice doesn't really matter. Cause it, oh wait, I thought that was a stopping point, but it isn't. Now we have an opportunity for lots of Pokeballs. We gotta be careful. Pick up the... I found a nugget. I can sell that for a decent chunk of change. Uh, I remember... <laughs> this place is a nightmare. For, um, lots of moonstones. I'm trying to think. Ah, that's a stopping point. So that's another Pokeball for me. TM07, what move is that? Is it Psybeam? TM07, Horn Drill. It, can anyone learn that? Nope. None of my Pokemon are horny enough for this move. Hmm. Jesus Christ, I have no idea. Let's see. This kind of sends me to the same place. Yeah, I'm just like... I'm trying to look at this and be like, okay, where do I go and what do I do? Which way is optimal? But then you realize, it doesn't really matter. None of these are, like, hyper-specific. Super Potion. Sure. Honestly, the hardest part's going to be getting out of here. Actually, never mind. Wait, actually? No! I messed up! I was like, this is super easy, guys! Ha 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 ha! Now who's laughing? It's not me! This is what I get. Hubris does this. How many days was... Twitch plays... Pokemon on here? God, Twitch plays Pokemon was an experience. Up. The up one. This one. <laughs> God, if I accidentally went and did the same thing, I would have lost my mind. But does this, like, lead me... I'm gonna save, because... If I get to the part where, uh, too quickly, I don't want to be, like, locked out or anything. Alright, we have access to the elevator. Fight me! Why did you come here? Adventure. Don't you see my Pokeballs? My big brass Pokeballs. Why is your Rattata higher level than that guy's Raticate? Doesn't matter. Confusion. 
How dare you quick attack my boy! Steamroll! Steamroll! My goblin will overpower you! And I think they know that, so they're spamming quick attack. I... I'll risk it! Confusion! Yay! He's gonna try to do something else. And Goblin got his reward. Ah, he learned Disable. I don't think I'm gonna use that much, because it's random. I was about to use another Raticate. I'll swap out so that I'm going to try and save on... Pokeballs. Uh, not, not Pokeballs, potions. Alright, one sand attack. Pocket sand. It never works. And now, quick attack. Basically, I'm gonna try and play a bit smarter and try and have it so that instead of like super healing one Pokemon again and again, I'm gonna try and play a bit smarter and just uh, try and play it for potions. So if a Pokemon gets low health, like have one Pokemon do and then like try and make it so that they don't my brain is going to mush uh, the real Christmas miracle my brain gets worse this won't do no more room for items goodbye escape rope and probably SSN ticket I need to use Oh! I forgot. Your PC holds items. I forgot to heal my dudes. Oh, hey, you're weak to psychic. Please survive, goblin. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, now that I remembered... Oh yeah, the PC system exists. Coughing. My dude will stay out because he's psychic and can just devour you for breakfast. But now that I remembered, oh yeah, PCs can hold items too. I'm going to put all my useless items into that thing. Because I'm like, I don't need the SSN ticket anymore, because the SSN isn't available anymore. I was just like, should I throw it away? But I don't want to. And then I remember. The PCs exist. He can't do it. I'm dumb. I'm super dumb. This is a game for children. Granted, I'm going to have to do the puzzle again, but it's not really all that much a puzzle, so eh. Plus, it allows me to heal my Pokemon for free, gives me an excuse. But yeah, I'm just dumb. I'm dumb. Why is it that I can get this far with advanced Pokemon strats of actually use the status effects, but I can't remember that there's a PC that you can store items in? I'm so stupid. I'm just like, why is there an item limit, to be fair? Why is there an item limit? Probably some kind of programming quirk where they have a certain thing where, oh, this item is in this item slot, and we can't have too many item slots for whatever reason. Which, fair, I guess, programming quirks. So, yep, my PC. Access to item storage system. Deposit... Uh, the SSN ticket, the TMs, because I'm not going to use any of them. I'm going to have to get that back, because I'm dumb. I'm going to keep the... Yeah, put in the TMs, because they're situationals. Keep the HMs, just in case... I'm gonna have to pull out my diddly do. I 
I'll put the Hyper Potion in, just because it's super powerful, but I don't need it just yet. Uh, withdraw my town map. I need that. Now it's gonna be super low on the list. <laughs> Profound sadness entering my soul. But yay! I've made progress! I'm no longer a dumbass. <laughs> I'm slightly less dumb, but still quite a bit ass. All right, I'll save again. We'll go through here. Because obviously going through, like, basically we just need to do everything. Nope, nothing here. Another puzzle room. All right, we'll go to the right. Fight me. We got word from upstairs that you were coming. Did you also get word that I am your god? You sent out the worst Pokemon for this matchup. Quick, confuse the man! Critical Super. I think Goblin is going to trivialize the run. Goblin is just... Is... <laughs> he just gets so many crits. Why does he get so many crits? He really is my Goblin child. What? I lost? No! No. And I get your item too. Mine. TM10, what is you? I forgot to put TM7 away. Double Edge. No. I don't have any sword Pokemon. Alright, now time to puzzle. Especially because it's hard to see. Alright. Once again, we're in this area where everything goes everywhere at once. Rare candy! I'm gonna have to sell that. Yeah, I'm trapped, so we have to go with this one. And, like, none of you are worth... All right, let's use this as a staging ground. Top one is meaningless. Top middle is meaningless. Mm, yeah, you're you're the one. You are my son. And now we gotta fight. Stop meddling in Team Rocket's affairs! I will meddle as much as I want, like the Scooby Gang taught me. You bitch. A radita, huh? I have a goblin. Why is he so powerful? He's nuking Pokemon. He should not be able to do this. Survive, boy! He didn't survive because he got a critical hit. Damn. I got overconfident, and now my boy is dead. And for some reason, Twitch is being very finicky. It's just like, your signal's not good. And it's just like, I beg to disagree. Hey, my Pokemon did it, yay. He's about to send out Drowsy. I shall send out War Turtle, and he will uh, use Bubbles. I'd have to change out Goblin for this if it did happen anyway, so Bubble Beam. Oh, that was a critical hit. Nice. Aha, he didn't try. Now bite him! Yay, level up, soul around. Except for Goblin, he's dead now. 
Oof, taken down. I kind of want to go back to heal my dude, but meh. We'll fight. The elevator doesn't work? Who has the lift key? Soon, that will be me. I already missed my boy. Quick, sand attack! What? That's the first time I've seen pocket sand fail! Screw you! It still hit anyway, because life is- Of course you fucking poisoner! Why? Quit using smog, he's already poisoned! How dare you have one health? Is this game just programmed to give some Pokemon an extra chance? Uh, you're probably going to faint on the way out anyway, Striker, so give it your all. That's basically my method, my philosophy on this. I don't have any antidotes, so my dude's gonna faint soon anyway. No! Oh, he dropped a thing. Oh, you had the lift key all along, my dude. TMO2, this place is just jam-packed with items. Thank god I remembered the, the, the diddly do. Razor Wind. <gasps> Razor Wind. Striker, you can learn a thing. I'm going to get rid of frickin' Yes. Whirlwind because I have no use for it. Yay! Too bad I won't be able to use it cuz he's going to faint. I think this is Lapras. Oh no, it's HP up. Well, Lapras is in here somewhere. Well, I'm going to head back and heal my dudes. And I've deal dealt with that, so I would have had to gone there anyway for the lift key. So that makes sense. I gotta go heal. Striker fainted because of freaking poison! And plus I got overcom- that all happened because I got overconfident with Goblin. I should give some HP up to Goblin! And we'll put the other TMs, because I think I got one more TM, or did I use that TM? Did I get two or one TMs? I know that I had one TM that I forgot to put into the pokey bank anyway. TM07... TM10. I will also put away the nugget. And the uh, rare candy, because I'm not going to use them. For uh, Yeah, for some reason I just I don't want to use rare candies, for whatever reason. I, it's just a thing in my head. Hey, Goblin, you could use an HP up. Did his HP go up? It went up by one. I don't think those are worth buying unless you have excess money. Money. Man, these people have terrible security. I can just walk in and out all day.
All right, and I don't think there's anything more to do on that level, so now we have to do the puzzle. I took the long way again. And then I'm gonna go down the, through the stairs again. And then after that, I'll take the lift. Because I think I didn't go all the way for whatever reason. Down one path. Good, I didn't fall for the trap again. This section really brings out my inner completionist. Now I'm just like, I gotta get everything. I gotta get everything. All the items. All the items that gotta be mine. <laughs> oh wait, no, I already did everything here. That's right, I completed that room. And then I'll be like, oh, I'll go elsewhere. I didn't even know that this place was broken. Uh, Basement floor four. And then we'll go basement floor two? We can't go to three. So then we'll go two and four, if those don't work. Not another step, brat! Not another step, brat! How dare you humiliate us at Mount Moon! It's payback time, you brat! Jesse and James want to fight! They're called Rocket, but we know who they are. A level 25 coughing. At least I can use one confusion on you. Alright, that just knocked you out because it got a critical. Jesus Christ, Goblin. Goblin's on a murder spree. Is about to use Meowth. Pikachu, send this one blasting off. Quick, Thunderbolt! Yeah, since uh, Goblin can apparently hold his own now, I'm gonna let him fight his own battles as much as possible. About to use Ekans. Pikachu, stay out there and beat that Ekans. Another Thunderbolt. He used Glare. Oh! That's what Glare does. Doesn't matter. Quick attack. My Pikachu is too quick to be paralyzed. That'll be annoying. Such a dreadful twerp. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again! Found iron. That increases defense, I believe. I'll go ahead and use it, since we're here. But who? Honestly, on my Pikachu, because he keeps getting whacked about quite easily. And he's my main man. I'm gonna use him at the end. Oh, I guess I'm gonna save, just in case this kicks us out. But guess we're just fighting Giovanni already. So, I must say, I'm, an Im I'm impressed you got here. Giovanni wants to fight. An onyx, huh? Sorry, Goblin, this one's gonna be for War Turtle. War Turtle! Go! That didn't do much. Bubble Beam! My goblin is raising strong. He's about to use a Rhyhorn. Stay out there, this one should be easy too. Bubble Beam! Type effectiveness is really helping me. Let's fight this cat and mouse. 
Ah, you're actually a decent level higher. Double team! Of course you're faster. Critical hit edition? Fuck off! I want to actually play the game! But no, it's just like critical hits. They kind of invalidate part of the game. And now I'm angry, I'm just pass b b bashing through. I would like to play the fucking game. Growl. Of course he used. That's why. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> hey, your tech missed. Come on! Critical hit my dick! <laughs> I am super annoyed by critical hits in this game. Stop. Fucking stop. You flinched! Oh, fuck off! <laughs> Let me play the game! <laughs> but it failed! Fuck off! Let me play the game! I would like to play the game, game! I would like to play the fucking game! I'm gonna use Growl. I just want to use Sand Attack. But he's just like, oh, it flinched. Oh, it missed. Oh, critical hit. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, it missed. It shouldn't miss that much. It's the fucking Sand Attack. Come on. I sure do love arbitrary difficulty where the Persian is just like, I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want. Yay! Another critical hit, it seemed like. It didn't say, but it was. Because fuck this game. I'm super annoyed. Because it's just like, hey, I want to play the game, but it's like, oh, your attack, it missed. How did it miss? Oh, it just missed. <laughs> Fucking sand attack missed. Yeah, it missed. <laughs> It's super annoying, where it's just like, you should use stra- Hey everybody, use strategy. Oh, except all your strategy attacks miss 100% um, of the time, apparently. What even? Come on! <laughs> I sure do like being able to play game by- Come on! That's just not fair! Why is it missing? A million percent! Is that an ability of the guard spec? Oh, d these things don't work. I'm- fuck off. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> that is the stupidest thing I've seen all day. Everything missing. Just everything, all the time, forever. Oh, you want to actually play strategic? How about no, apparently. <laughs> How dare you try and use strategy? That is what the bad people do. I guess it has to be guard spec. That has to be what it does, or else it makes no freaking sense for all my strategy to just be thrown out the window like that. No, you don't get to sand attack. No, you don't get to tail whip. Then what's the point of these abilities if they miss so much? What? This cannot be! Yeah, that's just an annoying fight. Purely because, for whatever reason, the game decided, no, you don't get to a status effect the Persian. I see that you raise Pokemon with utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. But yeah, that's just super annoying. That is the most annoying thing ever. Where it's just like, I, I guess that has to be the thing. That's the only thing that can make sense is if the guard spec just said, screw you, you can't affect things. Like, that's the only thing that makes sense, is if for whatever reason, are you lost, you little rat? But at the same time, it's just annoying. Why would you limit your ability to actually play the goddamn game? <laughs> It's just like, no, you don't get to. You don't get to actually strategize. That's just annoying and stupid and the worst thing ever. <laughs> like, I could understand, like, it's just, like... Because, like, yin, 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 yin. It's just, like, it annoys me so much.
But we're not done here. We have to get Lapras. I guess they just know you don't want to return to Floor 3, maybe? Or is maybe Floor 3 a place that we can't get to? No, we have to get there a different way. There has to be a different way. Yeah, I'm just eternally angry at that. Because, like, it only makes sense if the guard spec makes it impossible for special affecting moves to hit. That's the only thing that makes even a lick of sense. But it annoys me immensely because it limits how to play the game. Which maybe the Persian was just too fast, too quick. And there was no way to hit it. I don't know. I could have sworn that you get a Lapras in this. This place. Yeah, because we were in that room. Like, it just feels like there has to be more. I thought there was more. Did they rearrange things? I'm confused. Yeah, we already beat you. And it's just to go deeper. And I think we went there. We had to. But I want to know now. I have to know. But yeah, I'm still annoyed. That is the most annoying thing in the world. To be like... Just to know that child me, who's just like, attack, 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 five million times attack, would have had a better time in that situation than me, the person that's trying to play game. That is just the worst thing. How dare you have strategy? Strategy is the worst thing. How dare you strategic? Just that and forever. How dare. How dare you strat. Yeah, because this is where we got the lift key. So yeah, we all we had to have gone everywhere. This is where you got Lapras before. I'm fairly certain. Yeah, that's it. No Lapras in here. Huh. Odd. That is odd to me. Hmm. There is no Lapras in Team Rocket's quarters. Maybe they moved Lapras to be more like the anime then? That has to be. But yeah, that is... I, I, I'm gonna harp on that for five million years because screw that. That is the worst thing. Why? <laughs> I get kind of having a boss fight at the end of a trainer battle, because, like, you can't just have all the Pokemon of one trainer be super-duper uber-powerful, or it kind of falls into, oh, well, I guess I'll just grind, but if you have just a few number of Pokemon before that, that are just, like, normal level, and then one that's high level, it kind of acts as a, do you want to grind for one Pokemon level? Okay. And uh, now we'll head to the middle city. No, no, we gotta fight the Pokemon gym. Yeah, the I got uh, I got distracted by the rockets, and I will forever hate that fight. That Persian, that Persian, it's on my top ten worst boss fight list. How dare you, Strat? <laughs> It'll be an <laughs> I will harp on it for a million years. Why? Because like I've never seen my status effect or like just like your strategy attacks miss that much since this is a grass gym i feel like they're also going to have uh why is the, the dude where's the dude my my hype man where's my hype man hype man where's my hype man winning trainers gary my hype man has abandoned me Hey, you are not allowed in here. It's a Pokemon gym. I'm allowed anywhere. But yeah, it's a Pokemon gym. What the hell do you think this place is for? Tap dancing? 
Double team. Of course. Thunderbolt. Of course you're using rat because you're an annoying little rat. Fuck Bell Sprout too. <laughs> uh, I can do an attack and I'm super fast apparently. Quick attack. Uh, it's fully paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just super annoyed still. I'm annoyed forevermore. Hey, guess what? Your low damage bullsh. What do you mean fully paralyzed? Stop! <laughs> You're just annoying. I already had a deal where it's just like, well, oh, how dare you strategize and I have to deal with death by n fork man. He's tapping me with a spoon to death. Oh, wow, would you look at that? It's almost like I have potions. You stupid bitch. It's almost like I have quick attack or something. To mitigate you. You horrific little monster. Weeping Bell, huh? I was gonna fight you with uh, Pikachu just to have Pikachu have a battle, but now I'm g I want to watch your entire ho hope and dreams die. Ember. <laughs> Why is your strategy the same thing forever? I'm gonna stun you, and then I'm gonna use an annoying attack. Well, that's it. That's it. He's just annoying. Stop. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon that you have to use quick attack against. Like, come on, get a no better strategy. This is like the third of this Pokemon that I fought, and they all do the same thing! Rap is just an annoying attack. Because it really doesn't really do much. You might as well, it just feels like a time waster at that point. The trainer was just wasting my time. You're too rough. You were the one that was strangling my Pokemon to death. Eternally. She was trying to gatekeep me and this one was just like, I'm bored. Fight me. Huh, that's a new sprite. Sent out Oddish. Please don't have rap as an attack. Thunderbolt. But it's just annoying. I can't even do the sprite. Uh, type effectiveness. Well, that makes sense. My quick attack. I'm so annoyed. I'm forgetting type effectiveness. Although, the not very effective Thunderbolt did more damage than my quick attack. That's kind of funny. Yeah, it's just super annoying. That, like, all of the Weeping Bell... Like, either I've killed Weeping Bells too fast, too furious, and they're Bell Sprout little bastards. Too quick for them to do anything. Because it seems like all they do is, I'm gonna stun Spore you. And then... Alright. I'm going to send out... Striker. I'm gonna try and get Pocket Sand in his eyes. Please be fa- you are six levels faster. Pocket sand him. Pocket sand him again. And then we're gonna Razor Wind this stupid little bell sprout jerk. Why is Razor Wind a normal move? Why are- why? Peck is a- 
Peck is an uh, is like an actual flying move. Why is Razor Wind normal? Why are all the wind based attacks normal? <laughs> all right, we will send out Charmeleon because this one doesn't rap attack you. This one actually plays like it's a fight. <laughs> But yeah, Bell Sprouts forever are going to have my dude just come out and throw sand in their eyes until they're blind, and then I'm gonna kick it to death. Bell Sprouts, my number one enemy now and forever, because it's just like the one-two punch of how dare you play strategically from that Persian that was just immune to any attack that affected his stats. Ugh. To the Pokemon that's just like, we are going to waste your time. <laughs> I thought I played like a bastard when I had my Clefairy put people to sleep and murder people in their sleep. Meanwhile, there's these horrific monsters out here. They're like, we're going to paralyze powder you, and then we're going to rap attack you, and for we just force-fed our bell sprouts a million speed increases, I can only imagine, so that they get their wraps out as fast as possible. Gah! Bell sprout is an evil Pokemon. People, uh, they write in the lore, people are afraid of Absols because Absol comes when there's going to be a tragedy because not because they cause them, but because they can sense that it's coming. So they try to warn people, but think but people take them as an omen. Then there's me. It's just like Bell Sprout. It's the actual monster. It wants to watch you die. It will paralyze you and then choke you. My Clefairy. At least it would put you to sleep first before it started slapping you to death. Th these little monsters. They will paralyze you, become your sleep paralysis demon, and stare into your eyes as they throttle you to death. Bellsprout, the real monster of Pokemon. Ah! Oh! It was just really unfortunate that that happened right after the Persian fight. I still don't know what that was about. I tried to... I forget what moves I tried. I think it was mostly just Tail Whip and uh, Pocket Sand. And they just didn't work for some reason. Because Agony. And then, the AI is like super determined to just ruin your soul with Bell Sprout. It's like, use the Poison Powder and the Paralysis Powder periodically. And then... Kill. Kill. Annihilate. Burn. Look at my grass Pokémon! They're so easy to raise. They feed themselves on the corpses of the innocent. Another fucking bell sprout. Another fucking bell sprout. Another fucking bell sprout! Get new Pokemon, please! Sand attack! I'm gonna have to put Striker up in first place purely to try and deal with Bell Sprouts! I'm going to have to weed my garden! Why is Razor Wind normal? I thought, yay, it'll be an aerial attack. No. Maybe flying doesn't exist, but if so, then why does Peck do a lot of damage? Would kind of make sense why Peck is on Goldeen at that point, but still. Mm. I hate Bell Sprout. I hate you. Another Bell Sprout! I hate you. I hope you die. You bell sprout bastard. Your gaping mouth. You false god of Satan.
Sand attack. And now heal my dude, because screw you. Oh, what's that? Is the poor bell sprout unable to hit me? That's what you get, your brother poisoned my dude, and now I'm just going to pour sand into your eyes. Maybe I should take that sand, put it on a stove, make it molten, and then pour it into your eyes! I hate Bellsprout now. This is how you come to hate certain Pokémon. Because the AI uses it in an obnoxious way. And it's like... At least Ekans has Bite and Poison Sting. These guys, it doesn't even seem like they have any other move but Wrap and then Status Effects Powders. It's just insane. No! Yes. Okay, Goblin, teleport us out. I forgot. What do you mean you can't teleport right now? Is it because we're in a gym? And it... Th I think it's probably because we're in a gym. That's just silly. I could understand maybe some gyms, because maybe certain gyms have a... It's been a long time. I think, like, Koga or something. One of these places has, like, a few gimmicks that makes getting to the gym leader a bit difficult. So maybe they don't want you to just cheese through that or something. <laughs> but yeah, still super annoyed at that tactic. Nope, not that. I want to put on my bike. So that I can get there a bit faster. But it's just such an obnoxious strategy. And they all do it. Every single one of them has done it. They do throw their powder on your Pokemon so they can watch it suffer, and then try and strangle you exceedingly slowly. It hurts. It hurts. And I'm gonna fight all of them. Why? Aren't you the Peeping Tom? Do I look that old, old lady? I'm a, I'm a boy. A small child. And of course they have the little girl being the... <gasps> Yay! And I forgot to change him out. Mm. Oh well. This one should be nice. It shouldn't be doing the mean of rap. See, it's trying to use Vine Whip. It's being nice! It's being nice! It's using Leech Seed instead of uh, an obnoxious attack combo! It's being nice! Oh god, Leech Seed and rap would be obnoxious. Like, the most obnoxious thing. Leech Seed, Paralysis, and Rap would be the freaking worst. It would take setup so the AI would never do it. But... Mm, I can finally use Type Matchup. I can use my Charmeleon because of Type Matchup. Guys, I can play the game! Yeah, he's still gonna use poison powder, but hey, I can play the game! <laughs> I swear if you use rap right now... Okay, good. It's just poison and growl. And it probably has vine whip. I can play the game! <laughs> <laughs> I'm in shock. Oh, you weren't peeping? We get a lot of gawkers. I'm so easily satisfied. I just have to get a Pokemon trainer who doesn't have a... Don't bring any bugs or fire Pokemon in here. Screw you! I can't even use my fire Pokemon! Okay, I'll let that slide. Double team! Make it slightly harder for them to attack you. We 
yeah, that was that was evil. That like three people in a row had a decent amount of bell sprouts. One of the most obnoxious diddly dees ever. And eh, it, it, it's not effective, but it, it's actually more effective. Eh, it's kind of the same. Eh. Sometimes it actually does more damage. So, I think it's worth a shot. Also, my double team didn't did, did, diddly do squat. And now you're just being a jerk with sleep powder. How did you miss? It's a sleep. But yeah, if I see a bell sprout, execution. <laughs> it's not even like a, a normal execution. I can't even use ember on it because Charmeleon's too slow. Yay, level cap! I was about to send out Gloom. I shall send out Charmeleon so that he can actually dominate this freaking... <laughs> Bill Sprouts die on sight. <laughs> One more leer, and then we'll ember you to death. And now, ember. Bye bye, gloom. And you get burned. Lol. Fitting, the one that says don't bring fire Pokemon in here is the one that I can actually use my fire Pokemon on. They must have known! Oh, you. Oh. The, the shrubbery regrew. That is a fast shrubbery. I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon. Because of the poison and Pikachu's low on health. But yeah, that's just. Uh, I, I never realized that I would hate a Pokemon as much as I do Bellsprout right now. Because it's a guy's Bellsprout. It's innocuous. It's just a little plant Pokemon. No, it's a demon. It's Satan. It's a monster. It's a vile abomination of hell. I have never been wronged by a Pokemon as much as that. Gary stole my Eevee out from under me. I have fought the crime boss. Like, not even... The Persian. The Persian was annoying, but that's just because I didn't catch on because, hey, I've seen Pocket Sand and the few other things miss from time to time, so I just thought, oh, I'm just getting really unlucky. Maybe it has something to do with speed. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was that guard spec at this point. It had to be. If not, why? Alright, and now I'm gonna move... Striker into first place because maybe you're going to return to the bastardy of Diddly D. Welcome to Celadon Gym. You better not underestimate girl power. Most of you have been trying to throw me out. Ah, cool trainer wants to fight. You're not a cool trainer, you're an abomination, and now I'm gonna throw sand in your eyes. My only sadness is that it's not molten sand. I'm gonna pour more sand in your eye. Fill you up with sand, turn you into a punching bag. You stupid plant! Because that's all they do. They just poison you, and they paralyze you. And they wrap you up into a bondage. I hate it. These are monsters. They are made by demons. And that's why Quick Attack exists. Purely. These monsters. You withdrew? You withdrew? 
You withdrew! Oh! Ember. But you withdrew? I'm still shocked at that. That's the first time that's happened. Oh, hey, it's gonna die. Yay. Oh. Please be faster. Why? Why? I... Uh, why? It's about to be... Yes. Striker, we have him for a reason. Oh, hey, it's the one that's about to die. My favorite. Quick attack. And now we have to deal... Oh, with Ivysaur! Yeah, we'll change out to a Charmeleon. He's a bit paralyzed, but he can still fight with the best of them. Now that we got that monster out of the way that was that Weeping Bell, we can have a nice normal fight now. Why would you do that? It's not effective. It's just like, you have no idea just the catharsis of killing a Weeping Bell gives me right now. Just being able to go, screw you, Weeping Bell. Ugh, it's fully paralyzed. Mm -hmm. I swear if it does it again. Yay. Because I just have a thing against games where it's just like, no, you don't get to play the game right now. <laughs> it's just like, why would you design it like that? <laughs> like, sure, you should have certain strategy things, but you should let the player play the game, Billy. <laughs> Ooh, beaten. I'll go ahead and use some super potions. And by that, I mean a super potion on my poor, poor Charmeleon. We're just gonna dominate this entire... B Pleased to meet you. My hobby is Pokemon training. If you send out a Weeping Bell, I'm gonna murder you, too. If you send out a single one. Okay, good. You are forgiven. I'm still gonna have to throw eggs in your eyes. Eggs in your eyes? Sand in your eyes. Execute is from Generation 1? I didn't know that! <laughs> hmm. Could send in Goblin. And... and I'll just finish you off of this fight and then I'll throw Goblin into the main line. Try and raise him up a bit. Jesus Christ. But it failed. A little annoying, but at this point, nothing's gonna be as annoying as frickin' rap. Wake up, Pidgeotto! There's an enemy throwing eggs at you! Yeah, really, rap should work like this. Just, like, see how many times it goes, not, oh, it denies a round. Because then all that does is make it so that the player is like, fine, I'll just use an item or swap them out. That didn't feel worth it. It's just like, rap is a poorly designed move. It doesn't do anything. I think all you can do, if you use rap, is have it continue. And then your enemy can just use items or swap Pokemon. It's such a weird move. Why? 
I hate it so much. That's why whenever I see a, a weeping bell or the abomination monster, I step on them, I burn them, I pull off their twigs so they can't walk. I'm sane. I'm sane. <laughs> ah, she was happy to have lost. I'm gonna save. I'm angry. And I shall put my dude into first place. Swap, see if he can maybe get some poop in. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome, my name is Erica. I'm the leader of Celadon Gym. I teach the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry, I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. Oh, you will. I have time manipulation powers. I am full of rage. That's a water type. And it's level 30. Confuse. Oh no. And then there's Bind, which is basically a wrap on steroids. Confusion. Again. Mega Drain, that's not fun. I shall now use a super potion! Blah! Confusion! Impressive that my guy is faster, though. And we at least we get cool uh, music. Just in case you want to use Super Mega Drain again. That did a lot of damage. Ah, worth it too, because that I think that might be the last one. Confusion! My beloved Goblin. He's the real winner of today. He's the first four-digit experience gain, hell yeah! About to use Weeping Bell, huh? I have Striker with your name on it. Why? Because screw your Weeping Bell. Your Weeping Bell is an abomination. Jesus Christ, you're actually a high level. Why? Sand attack! It's using a different attack! It's not just using rap! Ah! Oh! I'm so happy! And one more Sand attack because I hate Weeping Bell. I shall now use a super potion on my baby boy. You see, the reason that I do this is because I hate you. I hate you, Weeping Bell. You're a monster. You're an abomination. You're trying to poison my baby boy! Why do you do so much damage? Critical hit! Why did all my pocket sand go? Quick, use Super Potion on my baby boy! And now you'll miss. Yes, and now I shall attack you again! Mwahaha! Thank you for not using Rap at the very least. He was using an actual sensible attack that did damage. And now, Charmeleon, you can have another fight! See, this is why you're the gym leader. Because you're actually using attacks and not annoyances. <laughs> and plus, it's not going to do anything because Charmeleon's already paralyzed, so he can't get poisoned. Don't ask me how that works, Pokemon logic.
band. Now whenever I see rap or a continuous, like, not even, I actually don't mind, like, what was it, bind. I don't mind bind because it actually does damage. Rap doesn't do freaking damage. It's so useless of an attack. Oh, fuck off, I hate parallel. He's like, oh, it's fully paralyzed. Ugh, it's fully paralyzed. Come on, let me play the game. Eh, yeah, well, you should carry a paralyzed heal. It's just like, yeah. Yeah. You have such limited space in your inventory as is. No. And I have to go use another super potion. See, I'm the annoying one. I'm healing my Pokemon like crazy. He'll run out of PP eventually. His power points will go away. Ugh, it's fully paralyzed! Ugh! I hate status effects like that. Let me play the game. I understand, like, having to actually do things from time to time, but it's just like, it's getting it's so in the way. Uh, and I have to do this again. Stop. Run out of power points already. Guess it doesn't help that... Yeah, he's, he's just gonna go down now because it kept lowering its defense. Ugh, spamming little bastard. Ugh. Double team. And I shall use one more double team. And now you die. See, this is- I think it finally ran out of acid. <laughs> now it's frantically, it's like, Stun Spore, Sleep Spore, ah! Oh, I can see defeat. You are remarkably strong. I must confer to you the Rainbow Badge. The Rainbow Badge will make Pokemon up to level 50 obey. You also allow Pokemon to use strength in and out of battle. Please also take this with you. TM21, what's that? Contains Mega Drain. Half the damage it inflicts is drained to heal your Pokemon. It's over. It's finally over. But man, Acid is a wicked move. Drains your defense and does a decent amount of damage. But now we're finally out of there. What am I doing? I can teleport. But blah. There were far too many Weeping Bell and Bell Sprouts in that gym. Are there just not that many grass types in this game? Like, Tangela was the only... Uh, well, Tangela and Gloom, but Gloom are evolved from Oddish, so it's not that bleh. But yeah. Now I'm gonna go to the department store. Oh wait, I should grab my nugget so I can sell it and the rare candy. Put away the TMs that I got. Bring out the things that we can sell and buy things. No, not Bill's PC. My PC. We'd like to deposit the TM21. And I guess the lift key because we don't need that anymore. Because that was just for the rocket hideout. Uh, we shall bring out the nugget. We shall bring out the rare candy. So that we can sell those. Ah, I feel cleansed of my rage. I beat up an old man. I beat up the gym. Service encounter. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I have to read this for it. Service, trainer's market. Yep. 
to the trainer's market, I go. Hi there, how may I help you? I have things to sell. First, I have this nugget to sell. Then I have this rare candy to sell. And what can I buy? You sell TMs. I don't care about TMs. I want to buy... I could buy revives, but I try not to let my Pokemon die. And that just takes up more space. I'm going to buy an obscene amount of super heals. And by that I mean I'm just about 25. There we go. Because I'm still worried about my item size. Even though item size shouldn't be that much of a worry anymore. Because we put things away. But now my fear is still going to get the best of me. I think we talked to everyone here, but now we can go through to the city that's on the inside. Sylph's latest product released to be determined. Trainer tips. New Great Ball offers improved capture rates. Try it on those hard-to-catch Pokemon. We're gonna go this place top to bottom. I said top to bottom. There's not really much up here. I'm dumb. Shining Golden Land of Commerce. Boss said he'll take this town. What do you want? Get lost! I have no idea what that's about. Fighting Dojo. I have a psychic type. This should be easy. I'm gonna save. And have my boy annihilate these fools. Silence phone. Hoo-ha! You are trespassing in our fighting dojo! The door was open. This might not even kill him in one hit, he's so high level. Confusion! Almost. Of course he uses Karate Chop. Because he's a dirty, dirty... Fucker. Confusion. I shall swap out to Pikachu. Thunderbolt! He's using focus energy. Eh, finish him off. Don't even risk quick attack not doing enough damage. Don't want him to release that focused energy on me. You can stay out there. Also using focus energy. After he saw what happened last time. Fool! I think I'm the fool. Oh. That's not good at all. Finish him off! Why? He's just like, I'm going to raise my Pokemon's attack so high! Oof, I give up! And now... Super Potion on Goblin. He'll forever be one health off. I hear you're good. Show me! It's actually just because I'm super smart. Look at my Pokemon. He's psychic. Go, Goblin! Use Confusion! Ah, he used Leer. That works in my favor. Because now his dude's gonna die. 
Yeah, he leveled up, yeah. Yeah, boom. Time, first time we've seen him a choke. Confusion! For all this time, I've yet to have one of my enemies actually confused by it. Not the karate chop. Please don't crit. Yeah, you should be able to do it. Judge, one point! And now I'm gonna go find a Pokemon Center because I don't want to waste all my potions on a gym. Huh, I wonder what he has to say. I'm gonna move... Uh, da -da -da. I'll use uh, put water, War Turtle up in front in case he decides to battle us. Get out of the way! Nope! I guess we have to go to Sylphco and actually talk to the Sylphco people and free them from Team Rocket. Uh, what do you have to say? Ah, watch where you're walking! So this is where the market is. Hello, normal people. What do you guys say? Revive is costly, but it revives fainted Pokemon. Max Repel lasts longer than Super Repel for keeping weaker Pokemon away. Hyper Potions. Hyper Potion's Full Heal. Why is Hyper Potion more expensive than Full Heal? What does Full Heal do? I'm gonna look it up. I have the internet. I can do that. What is the difference between a... Like a Hyper Potion and a Max Heal? Bulbapedia, give me your knowledge. It can be used to cure Pokemon of all non... Volatile status conditions and confusion. Ah. Don't call it a heal, then, if it's not actually going to heal. And then there's revive. Hmm. I don't have much use for money. So I'll go ahead and buy some hyper potions. And then, when I have even more money, and pro hopefully a decently leveled up team... Yeah, this is Silph Cope building. Oh, because we probably have to... I'm a security guard. Suspicious kids, I don't allow in. Oh yeah, we probably can't go there yet because we have to go to uh, Lavender Town and do the town, yeah. But we'll uh, finish off the... Saffron belongs to Team Rocket. Yeah, they're just taking over. But where's the Pokemon Center? Why is it so far away? We're gonna finish off the normal gym after we talk to people. Pokemon growth rates differ from species to species. It would be great if the Elite Four came and stomped Team Rocket. Yeah, why don't they? Silphco is very famous, that's why it's attracted Team Rocket. And now we can teleport here. Maybe I should do more grinding off screen. So that my Pokemon are slightly higher level. I'm sure that there is a patch of wild grass that's difficult enough. Alright, let's put on our bicycle. And make way for the gym gym. And then grab one of those like Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan and then never use them. <laughs> if I wanted a fighting type, I would use my Mankey, who would be Primeape by now. Uh, let's see, because we move... Nope, we put Goblin back in charge. Fight me. Nothing tough frightens me. I break boulders for training. We found Chris Redfield. He only has one Pokemon. It's a very scary Pokemon. Wait, you know what else is scary? My confusion. Oh, he's probably going to do that a bunch and leave his Pokemon open. Oh, it used Rage, that's shit. Huh, it actually didn't do that much. Huh, you're gonna be good at eating for Goblin.
Yow, stubbed fingers. That's what you get for punching rocks. And heal Goblin so that he can get more levels in at the, the fighting type Jim Jim. Oh, take your shoes off. <laughs> okay, that one's good. That one's a good one. All right, Goblin should have no trouble with you, which means he's going to karate chop him and get one hit kill. Or he'll get a... Oh, that wasn't even a crit. Hell yeah, Goblin. About to use another Menke. Nah, this is prime eating for my boy. <laughs> Goblin, he's on a roll now. He learned Saibi! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Ow. You ever cough so hard you feel like you hit the back of your head? Cybeam! Boo. Critical hit, super effective hell. Yeah. Goblin for the win. I give up! Grr. I am the karate master. I'm the leader here. You wish to challenge us. Expect no mercy. Fwah! He's trying to murder a child. What a monster. Level 37. Oh no. Quick, use Psybeam. At least it's not effective, but still. It can attack up to like four times. Haha! <laughs> Take that, boy! Uh, who should we bring out next? Give him a chance. Pikachu! Use double team! Oh, it's using agility. And Thunder! Oh, it's it, it's gonna be it's gonna be mean. Thunder, please! Okay, they're what is with fighting types and just be like, I'm gonna raise my stats till I die. <laughs> oh. Uh quick attack? Huh. All that agility and my quick attack was faster than you. I wonder if quick attack is just like programmed to hit first. Ah, ah, beaten! Indeed, I have lost, but I beseech you, do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I will give you a prized fighting Pokemon. Choose whichever you like. Yeah, I'll take Hitmonlee. Yes. Nah, it'll stay that. That was a nice, like, uh, respite from everything else that was happening. But yeah, we can heal, and then we can go try and deal with, uh, uh wrong place. Heal, and then try, oh yeah, I forgot, it's all the way at the bottom for some reason. We'll heal, and then we'll go to Lavender Town. Maybe fighting some wild Pokemon on the way. Because freeing Mr. Fuji from the Pokemon Tower should uh, give us the Pokemon Flute? Or do we get that after we beat the Rockets holding Silphco? Eh. Just keep going where the fights are. Mr. Psychic's house. You help one security guard with water, and they're just like, We we bow to you. You are our new lord and savior.
Now the real question is, I forget what ghost type versus psychic does. I'll uh, heal here so that we can... Eh, just for the principle of it, in case I want to... Because maybe we might be able to teleport out of the Lavender Tower if we needed to, but I don't know. But yeah, I don't know who wins in Psychic versus Ghost. Considering that the ghosts are possessing the psychics, maybe? <laughs> uh, who's in first? Goblin, we'll have you try and fight a ghost, see how that goes. And, uh, then we will go from there. Hey, Neon! What brings you here? Your Pokémon don't look dead. I can at least make them faint. Let's go, pal! That's also mildly dark. Ah, you almost have a full team. Level 25 Firo. My boy. Psybeam! Also, we are fighting in Pokémon Graves. Confusion! About to use Vulpix, I shall use War Turtle. It's so nice to be able to use Pokemon typing again. <laughs> Bubble Beam! I swear if you bring out a Weeping Bell, I'm gonna strangle you with its own vines. <laughs> Why did you try Roar? Bite that Vulpix. Aha, I actually leveled up. Yay! About to use Magnemite. Hmm. Ivasaur! Not because you're super effective against it, but because you're, uh, resistant to its shenanigans. <laughs> but the PP up only raised it by two! Oh, I forgot you do that! Growl, cut its attack and down. I shall growl once more, and then heal my dude and let him pound your metal orb into submission. Or maybe it doesn't go down anymore. Ah, it used tackle for some reason. It did one damage. Lol. I guess because it's a special attack, yeah. Although I thought attack and... I don't know, my brain. Yay! Pound down that Magnemite. It's doing way too much damage for a level 21. About to use Sand Shrew. Hey, he gets you to go again. It's my War Turtle. You beat me that one time, and I'll never let it happen again. You traumatized me, Gary. And of course, he's about to send out his Eevee, so I send out my Pikachu. I wonder if I did the towns out of order, and if that's why some of them got level spikes there. One more double team, just because screw you, Eevee. You're not gonna get any of that shenanigans off. Apparently, no, you will. Well, and now Thunder. Even after all those evasions, even after all those evasions, it's just like, yeah, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna hit you. Booyah. What, you stinker? I took it easy on you, too. Eh, uh, maybe, maybe. How's your Pokedex coming, pal? I just caught a Cubone. I can't find the grown-up Marowak yet. I doubt there are any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish, pal. Smell you later. <laughs> Pikachu actually made way for him. That's cute. Let's see if we can teleport out of here to heal up. Can't use teleport right now. 
So apparently, teleport only works in caves, but not in buildings, from what I can tell. That's a little weird, but eh. Doot, doot. Heal up the people, and then we can see how well Psychic does against Ghost, because again, my memory of Pokemon type beans fail me miserably. And then, hilariously, we get to fight the Pokemon Marowak ghost. A part of me almost wants to try and catch it, but I don't think it works. And plus, it's just a cruel thing to do, so I'm not even going to try, because I'm a good person. Who designed this place? The Graveyard Keeper? Even we could not identify the wayward ghosts. A silscope might be able to unmask them. Be gone, evil spirit! They definitely look crazy. Sent out ghastly. I can see you. Well, let's see. Does it work? Handily, too. Whew, that spirit left. But now that we have, we know that we have someone to fall back on, let's try and get Ivasaur up to snuff. Qua! Oh yeah, normal attacks won't do anything to you because you're ghost type. That's why Vine Whip exists. Ah oh, hell, Confuse Ray. That's a creepy sight. You can do it, Ivasaur! God damn it. You already did that. God damn it. The answer is okay, so that won't work. Fine, I'll send out my boy, Goblin! Now that's just rude. Then again, it's probably like the only attack you know. Confusion! Huh, using confusion when it's confused. It should cancel it itself out. Hmm, <laughs> what am I doing? Alright, Ivasaur is not the way. Striker doesn't have any moves for this, so we're gonna put War Turtle. Actually, let's put Char Charmeleon up there. I almost said Charmander. He hasn't been Charmander since we basically got him. A wild ghastly appeared. We'll use Ember on you. And see if we can catch you. That's rude. And wonky. Let's see. Pokeball, go! Booyah. I caught a ghost. Ah, I, 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 I didn't read it. Bleh. But yeah, basically, f just for the ease of everything, since these guys, I'm just gonna destroy them with my boy. But we're gonna fight all of them as we can. I don't think it's supposed to be hoo hoo, but like heavy breathing. Because they're being possessed by the ghastlies. Even though I'm fairly certain if we tried to capture them, it would be like, hey, don't steal another trainer's Pokemon. Even though it's not that trainer's Pokemon, it's a monster that's possessing this trainer. Wah, I'm saved! Oh boy, an escape rope! 
I swear, if escape rope worked in here, but not teleport, I'd be annoyed. But I'm not gonna use, uh, escape rope. Be cursed with me! No. I don't think I will. <laughs> and once again, my boy Goblin is just eating good tonight. <laughs> Critical hit and super effective. Let's try and see how Pikachu does. Quick, Thunderbolt! He's potentially paralyzed. Not to confuse, Ray. I'm already confused as it is. You can do it, Pikachu. Don't lick my Pokemon. I think the lick made it more confused than anything. That's a lot of damage. Come on, you can do it, Pikachu. Yeah. But yeah, these just aren't worth divvying up the... Like, they have to be easy to kill to be worth spreading the experience around. Else it's just like, kind of a slog. I found an elixir. I found an awakening. A fire emblem awakening? Hoo <laughs> beat me not! What does that even mean? Luckily, they're just all ghastlies. Confusion! Confuse Ray versus Confusion. Who wins? Me. Ah, critical too. Huh? Who? What? Being possessed must really do a number on you. Ooh, an HP up. Who gets the HP up? It only raises it by one, but hey, it's better than nothing. Let's see... Once again, I think Pikachu deserves it, because poor, poor Pikachu. Just getting beaten down by everything. Like, if these guys didn't have, like, Confuse Ray and stuff, I'd probably let some of the others try and take them down, but they just get in the way. Ghost Snow! Qua! What is Qua? How do you even make the noise Qua? Like, if anything, you'd think it would be Gwa, not Qua. Language is weird. Where is the ghost? I beat it. By beating you. Oh. Okay. Uh, you're gonna probably die anyway, so I can't even catch you. <laughs> like, but at the same time, Ghastly evolves into you, so if I wanted... No, yeah. Nothing there. I should have known. I passed by there. Me dumb. Goblin is eating good. Goblin is becoming my main man. Ah, that's a safe space, I think. A Cubone? A Cubone? Uh, let's see how you handle confusion. Damn it. All right, then, I guess I will... I don't have anyone good except for War Turtle, I guess. Uh, 
Let's see how War Turtle does against a ghost. You shall join us. I don't think so. I, 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 I'm gonna, de I'm declining that. No, no, I, 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 I deny. I go home. I say no. I hate Confuse Ray. Now he looks like a bomb. Bite is normal in this game. Hmm. Dang it. You can't use Confuse Ray. He's already confused. Well, no, no. well, I'm the fool. He's no longer confused. Hmm. What a nightmare. Oh. Come, child, I sealed the space of magic. You can rest here. Entered purified. Protected zone. Are fully healed. Woot. I shall free your friend. Zombies! There's no zombies here. I don't even think there are any zombie Pokemon. Great, now I'm reminded of that creepypasta. Where... There's, like, a literally just a dead corpse that fights and drags the, the trainer to hell. I forget what it was called. It's been five billion years. Oh, boy. Paralyze. Quit licking the turtle. I don't think that's sanitary. I feel like the art person had a little too much fun with some effects. Where it's just like, no, it can't just be flashing lights. Everything has to go woggly wiggly as well. Huh? Kind of funny they put that there. What's this? I found a nugget. Fight me. Man, it must be terrible to be an exorcist in this universe. Ah, crap. Actually, not that much. It's just an evolved Pokemon that's the same level as... It's actually two levels less than the last Ghastly I beat. Good job, War Turtle. Your mischief is making you sharp. Don't get paralyzed again. Of course. Now he's confused and paralyzed. Haunter must be his sleep paralysis demon. And that's why he got a critical hit. He was so scared. I think we beat Ric Flair. Ric Flair possessed that poor lady. Level 26, eh? I hate Confuse Ray. Turns him into a bomb! I know I said that before, but it's true, and it bears repeating. Yay, he didn't get paralyzed this time. Wibbly wobbly wibbly wobbly. It's quite smooth wibbly wobbliness for that, for this age. Confused no more. He knows who to kill. And because we took a decent amount of damage, we should go back. Fight me. Give me your soul. No, you don't get my soul. Why was Generation 1 so upfront and creepy? You have to read the Pokedex to find creepy stuff in the future ones. Well, except for the those times where there are actually ghosts. But you kind of have to go out of your way to find them, too. This is one is just, like, part of the main quest line. Ghosts that want your soul. Pokemon dying. Team Rocket murdering Marowak. Of course you would use it, because you're a... Bumpkin. 
Ah, it's fully paralyzed. Darn. I feel like Confuse should be on the same level as Paralyzed. Because it's annoying to be like, you have to pass the Paralysis check, then you have to pass the Confuse check. Okay, but at least Confuse only seems to last for a handful of turns, so it's not bad. But it's still annoying. Gasp! Please don't reset when I heal. Thank you. I was under possession. You say that so happily. I'm gonna run from you. I'm waiting for a Q-bone to pop back up. If only just so I could have a Q-bone. With Scooby-Doo up on here, we're running from ghosts. G blood. Blood is canon to Pokemon. Well, I mean beyond the Zubat, just like, ah, Zubat eats blood uh, from Pokemon. This one's just like literally, hey child, blood donation now, please. Fuck, I was, I spammed too quick. Too fast, too furious. Dead me. And now my dude is paralyzed again! I guess I could try and throw Charmeleon in the lead a little bit, even though he only has, well, <laughs> he only has Ember, but yeah, it's just like Ember isn't that good a move when it's not special effect, uh, 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 su super effective. But let's try and level him up some. Charmeleon, grrr. Yeah, it's kind of par for the course. What is the paralysis rate on Lick? Uh, it's fully paralyzed. Mm. to use another ghastly. The downside to <laughs> is like, we should have a theme, ghost Pokemon. They only have one ghost Pokemon. Oh well, boy, Confuse Ray. It remembered it has Confuse. Please keep using Lick. It is a very bad attack. God damn it. Heal my boy. He's paralyzed. He's confused. These are the sleep paralysis demons of God. No. Confused no more. Groan. You can't groan. You haven't even gotten your blood yet. Which is my blood, which you'll never get. <laughs> of course. Go away! I don't want to fight you. I'm fighting you on the train of battles. Go! X accuracy. Ka 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 ka. At this point, I think uh, Nintendo of America or Game Freak or whoever did the English translation didn't know what to do there. Like, how do we translate this? It sounds. Well, all language is sounds, but you know what I mean. 
Nah, you're just mean. You're not even trying to lick. Lick my melium. Wow, my melee was just like, I'm done with these. These are critical hit, critical hit. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What's going on here? Something's wrong with you. That's what's up. We got a random battle in front of a trainer battle? That's a thing? Weird. Uh, qua! Again with the qua. What's with the qua? Ka? Oh wow, I never would have guessed that. It's ghastly. <sighs> if it weren't for the fact that paralysis is a thing, I would problem. Why paralysis? Fucking stop! Ah! Paralysis is super annoying, and it seems like the game is semi-programmed. <laughs> I hate things, they're... I hate things, they're like, actually, you don't get your turn. <laughs> they're just super annoying. Fuck off! <laughs> yeah, he's fully paralyzed, you should not be able to get fully paralyzed multiple times in a row. Let me play the game. <laughs> that is just my mantra throughout this stream. It's like, hey, game, might I be able to play? He's like, oh, he's paralysis. Oh, it's confused. And you bet your bottom dollar that if he was just like... Because you notice the paralysis check happens after the confusion check. And he's just like, god damn it. Fuck off. What is the rate of paralysis? It feels way too waited for it to be like, oh yeah, your Pokemon's par paralyzed. And this is before Pokemon even gave a crap about balancing for competitive. Fuck off! <laughs> In my opinion, Ghastly shouldn't have a paralysis attack and a confusion attack. Is just so f fuck off. <laughs> it's fully paralyzed. Fuck off! Why is it pumping up so much? Why is the game basically going, no, don't actually try and play the game, try to just game the game by having your diddly d goblin one-shot everything. I want to actually play the game! <laughs> but it's just like, oh no, he's paralyzed. And to one degree, it's just like, oh, you should carry, like, the paralyze heal. But it's just like, why? One lick and he's paralyzed again. It's so annoying. <laughs> paralyze heals and, like, any kind of status effect heal is almost not worth getting at all. Like, the only time they would even be half decent. <laughs> Something fell out. Well, that's disturbing. But yeah, the only place that, like, Paralyze Heal and the like would be useful would be, like, right outside of combat. Oh boy, red candy, I'm not gonna use it. I'm a haunter! Oh wow, I don't care, because you're just annoying Pokemon to fight. Ugh, we're gonna paralyze you, and then we're gonna confuse you, and then we're gonna paralyze you. Be gone, intruders. Ah, this is the first time that a Pokemon has talked to us. Ghost appeared! Silphscope unveiled the ghost's identity! Marowak appeared! Growl. 
Oh, that's gonna be critical or uh, super effective, ain't it? Oh, it's fully paralyzed. <laughs> Paralysis is such a bullshit thing. 100% fuck off. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna see. Pokeball. Yep, it dodged. This Pokemon can't be caught. At least it tells you. Why is it super effective too? Hey, guess what? I have Hyper Potions. Screw you. Why is Bone Club... Use a different attack, you asshole. Fine. What... What... What classification is Bone Club in this era? Quick attack. Probably use sand. Sand attack. Pocket sand. Pocket sand. How is pocket sand getting in? Oh, come on. How'd that hit? I threw two pocket sands at you. Why is the game so inconsistent with its freaking things? I used one pocket. <laughs> like, you get hit by one pocket sand. You can't do anything. You hit an enemy with five pocket sands. Oh, they can hit you just fine. It's super annoying. The ghost was restless soul of Cubone's mother. The mother's soul was calmed. It departed to the afterlife. Pokemon confirms there is an afterlife. Because we still have some Pokemon rockets to fight next, I believe. But diddly dee, this is tedious sometimes. I kind of dislike that it punishes you for trying to play, like, more fun. Like, you, you want to use more Pokemon? Sorry, no. Because this place only has one Pokemon type and it hates you. Stop right there! Grandpa here wanted to complain, so we're setting him straight. So render yourself invisible or prepare to fight! I think they told me to become a ghost. Pour me out. Quick, vine whip! It threw money at me. To the spoils go the winner. Quit throwing money at me! <laughs> this Team Rocket's so rich they can just throw money at me. Death by legal tender. About to use Arbok? Sure. Pikachu! It's the first time we see this one here. Thunder! Wow. <laughs> and paralyzed. It's... Wow, I was just about to say, I have yet to see one of my enemies be paralyzed and actually have it mean something. That changed, finally. Team Rocket is actually a fun Pokemon battle. Mm -hmm. Thunderbolt. It won't do as much because it probably won't crit. Yep. Haha, your attack missed and I haven't even... Oh, no, my attack missed. And then they tackled me. All my luck is going away.
What? It's second face looks so smug or something. The fa that facial expression is a mood either way. You will regret this! <laughs> Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again! And we still get random bibbly blubs. <laughs> Ghastly is going up there on my annoying Pokemon list. Hey, Gramps. I want to talk to the Grandpa! Also, this kind of implies that uh, Jesse and James murdered Marowak, which is kind of depressing. Huh, <sighs> you came to save me. Thank you, but I came here of my own free will. I came to calm the soul of Cubone's mother. I think Marowak's spirit is gone to the afterlife. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home, Pokemon House at the foot of this tower. We don't have to run away, yay. Neon, your Pokedex quest may fail without your love for your Pokemon. I think this may help your quest. Yay! Upon hearing Pokeflute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. It works on all sleeping Pokemon. Uh, I'm gonna save. I'm going to go... See if Team Rocket is still bothering Sylphco. And then I think I'll just end it. Because we keep running into annoying combo Pokemon, and it is... Ugh. Try to spread out the agony a little bit. Because, like, it's nice that the enemy Pokemon are using strategies. It would just be... Also nice if the enemy strategy wasn't annoying. <laughs> Although that kind of goes into the question, if it weren't annoying, then it wouldn't be effective, because this game is a bit simplistic right now. And I think Pokemon always has always kind of been a simplistic RPG. So you can't really do too much. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, we can go to Sylphco now. Their bodyguard just went away. Weird music. We'll fight one rocket, see what levels they are. Hey kid, what are you doing here? Crash in your vibe, man. Ah, you have a lot of Pokemon. Ah, they're not that bad leveled. Yeah, we'll fight him and then we'll call it a day. Oh, you have confused me. What fun! All right, not very effective. Tackle. Quit eating my salad. I guess I'll also use Growl. Why do you have two attacks built to make me confused? That's just inefficient. God damn it. At least it just means that the enemy will be like, oh, I gotta use it. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm allergic to bullshit. I might have to go back to my experience sharing plan where I have one Pokemon that I'm like, okay, I want this Pokemon to level up, so I'll send them out, and then depending on the Pokemon that comes out, I'll send a super effective at him. Because playing legitimately is pain. Then again, I think legitimately is more along the lines of just use super effective as much as possible type advantage. Also, no idea why Golbat is uh, 
resistant to grass. I don't remember Zubat being resistant to grass. About to use Zubat. I will leave him out. And then we'll swap to Goblin, because screw you, you're annoying me. Now you're really annoying me. Use confusion while you're confused for double confusion! Damn it. I think it's confused too, because it tried to confuse you again. About to use Zubat. We shall... let's see. Well, let's see then Striker. Sand attack! Pocket sand! Oh, but that still hits. Hmm. Quick attack! <laughs> <laughs> what is the ratio of, yeah, this Pokemon will hit itself in confusion? I'm just gonna quick attack you to death. Because you're a jerk. And nobody likes you. About to use Eradicate. Hmm. Charmeleon. <laughs> Let's leer. Lower its defense a bit. And uh, probably should have also lowered its attack. Growl at it. Lower its attack. Ember! He's trying to lower my defense, too. Luckily, he didn't quick attack. If that crit, that would have been bad. Yay! About to use a Zubat. I'm just gonna destroy you with Goblin, because Zubat is now being annoying. Unless you get confused right off before, you'll die! And I, you didn't, so now you'll die. Booyah. And now I remember, I... As he said, I goofed, I also goofed. Because this is where you get Lapras, not the rocket base. You get it here. because I confused it because I think you can forgive me confusing the place where a bunch of Team Rocket are and the place where a bunch of Team Rocket are. <laughs> I think you can forgive me for confusing them. But as I head to the Pokemon Center, just to kind of ground us there, as well as fix up my Pokemon, I shall talk about what happened today. Uh, a lot of annoying things, but mostly in the later half of the stream. For the most part, really fun, still having a lot of fun with Pokemon, and most of the things could probably be chalked up to me not playing all that well. Like, I'm like, oh, mainly because with the Ghastly, the Ghastly stuff was 100% me. Mainly because I want to use one Pokemon per fight and have them level up by getting experience, because I don't want to split experience. Bleh. But, uh, the other things like the Persian not being affected by tail whips and stuff, and then the grass gym just being like, ha 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 ha, we're going to be super annoying with our weeping bells and bell sprouts. Hate them. Hate them forever. Rap is just an annoying attack. I don't know why bind isn't as annoying, but probably because I haven't seen it spammed at me yet. But now we shall save again, and we'll pick up uh, another time. I really should make an actual schedule for these. <laughs> but anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching. Sorry if my anger was not amusing. For whatever reason, those sections just really ticked me off. 
primarily from the sense of, let me play game, I want to play. Yeah, like, really annoying to give enemies that can restrict your turns, like Confuse Ray on Ghastly or Rap on Bellsprout, and then giving them Paralysis. You kind of pushed it there. But yes, thank you very much for watching. Sorry if my anger wasn't amusing to your liking. And I will see you dudes next time. If you want more from me, you can find me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Tumblr, Newgrounds, and other such newfangled social media sites. But yes, thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you next time. And I will see you... Well, I, and I can't... I, I, I'm so... Frazzled. I'm saying the same thing twice. And not even from the, oh, I'll say the kind of outro thing in the same terms. No, I literally said, hope to see you next time. And then I hope to see you guys. It's like, eh. But yes, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Have a good night. Or days, wherever you may be. Hmm. I've been the Icy Wings. Bye. Bye.